Welcome to the AutoCAD web app, included with your AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT subscription. To access the web app, just go to web.autocad.com. Once you sign in, you'll see the file manager. Here you can upload any drawings to your web and mobile account. You can also connect to several different cloud storage providers, so your cloud files are accessible directly from the web app. Let's open a drawing. You'll see the drawing area. Pan in the drawing by pressing and holding the center mouse wheel button, or by using a two-finger swipe on your trackpad. Zoom in the drawing area by rolling your mouse wheel, or on a trackpad by holding Ctrl or Command and using a two-finger swipe. You can also use the Zoom Extents or Zoom Window buttons up here. Along the left side of the browser window, you'll see several icons. In Settings, you can change units and set polar and snap preferences. In Views, you can switch to any existing layout views that are in the drawing. In Properties, you can view and modify some properties for the selected objects in the drawing, such as line types and dim styles. In Layers, you set the current layer, create new layers, rename or delete existing ones, turn layers on or off, or change the layer color. Xrefs shows you a list of Xrefs in the drawing, and in Blocks, you can insert or rename any existing blocks in the drawing. In the lower left corner of the window, you'll see some basic drawing, modifying, and annotating commands. You can start commands by clicking the icons in this command list, or by typing them in using the command line. I'm going to use the P-line, or polyline command, to draw a simple coffee table. I can click this icon here, or type in P-line and press Enter. While the command is active, I can enter distance here. Just like in the desktop version of AutoCAD, I have polar tracking, ortho, and object snaps to help me draft precisely. Notice that while the command is active, I get prompts on the command line telling me what I can do next. If there's another option, it'll appear here. So, if while I'm drawing this polyline, I want to switch to creating an arc instead of a straight line, I can choose that option. I can also bring up those options, plus other contextual options, by right-clicking in the drawing area. I'm going to choose Close Shape to complete this rectangle. You can erase objects by selecting them and pressing Delete on the keyboard. And you can undo changes by using Ctrl-Z on Windows or Command-Z on a Mac, or by using the Undo button up here. To save, just click Save in the top right, or press Ctrl or Command-S on the keyboard. Click the AutoCAD logo in the top left to return to the file manager.